Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a love reading for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising. Okay, now I'm going to do this differently. I'm still going to have my usual Thursday to Saturday love readings where I use the tarot and all the other cards, but for today's reading I'm just using my love oracle deck. Okay, that's it. So what messages do we have for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising regarding their love life at this time? Okay, guys, guardians, ancestors, and angels, please give me clear and concise messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Okay, what's going on in Aquarius' love life at this time? What does Aquarius need to know? Okay, what bold messages do you have for Aquarius? Please continue to protect us, watch over us, and guide us always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, what's going on with Aquarius' love life at this time? going on with Aquarius' love life at this time? Ooh, kisses flipped. Last shuffle. Any other messages for Aquarius? Okay. Keys on a ring. Okay. Okay, so let's see. What do we have here? Kisses, keys on a ring, the Grim Reaper, mask, and sunglasses. Okay, I don't know if I put this here, if that's better for you guys. Okay. I thought somebody had sat in my chair. And... Mm-hmm. Okay, I had company. <laughs> All right, anyway. So let's see, what do we got going on? Kisses, keys, and a ring, the Grim, Grim Reaper, mask, and sunglasses. Okay, so, so I'm getting here, it says the Grim Reaper, the relationship is over, no second chances, grow and transform your life. But they are not showing their true feelings here. They're hiding. They're pretending that everything is over. Why? We don't know. But they are pretending, I'm getting protection, like they feel they, they are either protecting themselves or they are protecting you um, for whatever it is in the relationship that caused it to end. They feel, I'm feeling that it, it was just like some typical bullshit, some stupid stuff. And, you know, they're like, no, it's over, we're done. And even though they want to come back in and they want to work things out, I feel like they made such an ass out of themselves. They made such a big deal of something that now it's like, okay... They, they're not showing their true feelings. They're hiding. They're pretending that they're done. But they're with sunglasses here. They're watching. They're looking. They're stalking. Okay. They're still interested in what it is that you're doing. Okay. And then we have here. Many options. Decision. Unconventional. String along. One night stand. Okay. So if some of you had a one night stand with someone and they're like, yeah, that's it. It didn't mean anything. They're lying. They're pretending. They really actually caught some feelings for you and they don't want to own up to that shit for whatever reason. They may be trying to find you on social media for those of you that this resonates with. Because we have kisses here, which is unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. So this person is actually like falling in love with you. And if it's not a one night stand, it could just be it. like I have here string along. Somebody um, could be feeling like they're being strung along by somebody else. Maybe there it's a third party situation. I don't know. But whatever the situation may be, they really don't want to string you along. That's not their true feelings. For They're pretending for whatever reason. Some of you may know. Others may not know. If you're interested in knowing, you can go to zenwithinme.com and purchase a private reading from me. And we can dive into it and see what's going on. Um, but the message that I see here is it's not over with this person. They're pretending that it's over. And they know damn well that it's not. They're still like trying to find out what's going on with you on social media. Um, and then here with decision, I feel that they have options and they're trying to make a decision of how to approach you, how to have you, how to, you know, get back together because they do unconditionally love you. They fell in love with you and they don't want to, they really don't want to be without you. But they don't know how to go about this now because everybody's on a different path. Everybody has different decisions that they need to make. And this may be a hard decision that this person you're dealing with has to swallow and really like turn the world that they're used to upside down in order to be with you. Okay. 
All right, so that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, watching, and subscribing. This is your Tarot Oracle reading. Peace and love, and I will see you in the next reading.